Hello, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Just um, in a previous video of mine, I was um, where I modelled some um, chairs in, in Rhino uh, to make the main seat shell of the chair. I used a um, like an overbuilt surface and then trimmed it back. And I used analyzed surface point set deviation to um, to sort of match the surface to a um, to a curve with a tolerance of course um, and I've done the same thing on another model that I uh, another kid, kid sculpting exercise that I completed back in the end of 2019 this Apple Magic Mouse I happened to have one on my desk so I thought that would be a good challenge to model it up and I used that point set deviation to create the main top surface uh, of this. So I'm just going to run through this quickly. Um, just go back through the layers and the stages of, of uh, what I went through to model the mouse. So firstly I surveyed the product, um, taking some critical dimensions. Um, and after that I created some main curves. So with the main curves I created some elevations, elevational curves and then I dragged the points out on that elevational curve to create a like a boundary for the for the top key plate surface and that curve, if I type in what, it is degree 5 curve, 6 points, single span ok so I guess you had I had two options, I could build patches explicitly up to this boundary or I could overbuild the rectangular surface and then trim back this line and I was pretty happy with that curve um, elevationally and also three dimensionally and it worked well with my surveyed um, measurements so that's when I use the point set deviation so I'll just go and um, let me okay, and then turn on the top surface. So I've already obviously built um, this, match this um, rectangular surface to this curve. I'll just show you how I how I went about it. So if you go curve point object, divide curve by number of segments, say ten. So now I have a set of points um, and I'll select the points, group them and say I create the surface by, I could, I might have extruded the center line um, out or some other way and then change the degree using cha the change degree function. So this is uh, degree four in one direction, degree two in the other. Okay, so it's going to it's a fairly clean surface. And then to modify that surface, I went and analyze point set deviation. You select a um, set of points. Whoops. So I'm going to pick the points that I created before on the curve, and now I'm going to pick the surface. Okay, and this brings up a, a dialog box where you can set tolerances. Um, so, you know, depending on how close you want to get, you can, the point will change colour, and you can um, change this, the hair scale as well. The hair basically is just a visual feedback of your tolerance. So you can see that point there. That's... Um, it's under 0.1, but it's above 0.01 millimetres from the surface. So then basically once I did this, you set up the points. As I said, this surface was a lot further away. Um, so to start with, you might have a, a looser tolerance there. Um, and then you can um, you type in move UVN, you bring up the move UVN dialog box. Um, and then... You can move that point. So I'm using the normal with a point one step. And as you get closer, you end up 
refining your scale that the point moves each time. Um, and obviously this isn't, this is kind of a, um, a gradual thing, you've got to go around and modify the points and modify the points, because when you move this one here, something else will drop out of tolerance and, and vice versa. So you go round and round circles, everything gets tighter and tighter and closer to that curve, to the point where I was happy with the curve, um, with the proximity of the curve, with the surface, where I could carry on. Um, I just undo there. I can type in zebra. Bring up the zebra analysis. Um, for the surface, I use set point to make sure that the first row points were um, was going to be tangent around the center line, and also across the other axis. Because of the surface, I'm going to step it over one, two, three, four. I'll go on now, I think that's enough about set, um, about the um, point set deviation tool. Okay, so after I created the top surface, I trimmed it and created the side surface and the offset thickness. Then I created the main underside surface, which was uh, using edge surface Edge surf command, four side surface. And carried on. Ended up making that out of a larger surface and trimming it back. So very much how I did the key plate on the top for the underside. Larger surface, you can see my points there from my um, point set deviation. I created a curve and then wanted to um, match that surface up to the curve and then trim it back. I uh, now created the, there's a gap surface under the key plate. Then I created a main quarter. So a quarter of the product with the, um, with the foot, with the glides. Then I created a uh, mirrored everything over and created surfaces that would be used for splitting out like the battery uh, door, the logos, the lens, um, etc. And then split those parts out and finally added um, more radio and blends in the lens and named the materials. So if I select all and type, type in zebra, actually it might take a while, oh there we go. So on the underside, it's fairly flat through the bottom here where the battery door is and then curves up. Um, and again it's fairly linear along the sides. It's an interesting project. Um, some tricky things and using overbuilt surfaces, you know, I think it, if I tried doing this with patches I think I would have ended up with something that was um, nowhere near as clean. It would have taken me a lot longer. I'll just flick over to some renderings now. Okay, so some elevation renderings. So after I finished it in Rhino I dropped it into Lightwave and set it up and did some renderings using HDR, Light Studio and Octane. And a couple more up here. Three quarter view from the rear. Um, you know, with the with the um, I don't know if it's in mould decorated or however Apple's made the top plate there, but you get a bit of uh, caustic lighting around the edges and stuff. Anyway, fun project. So that's the uh, Apple Magic Mouse um, Rhino model personal modelling challenge, um, CAD sculpting. Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Hope you liked the video. Bye.